Indian whaler. 300 meters off port. We've got her. She's in range. All right, we're ready. Gentlemen, what do you see? Nothing. Exactly. Five years ago, that was one of the only necrocystic peripheral beds on the ocean floor. It was before the mining company scraped away the kelp to get at the ore. And before anyone realized, it was the only natural source of peripheral alginate, the most effective treatment for glaucoma. Hmm. Surprised you didn't bomb the mining companies. Their actions are raping the earth. They're dooming future generations. Clearly something dramatic has to be done. Oh. Is that how you rationalized torpedoing a boatload full of tourists ten years ago? It was an accident. It was a terrible accident. But the torpedo was meant for the whaler. Now, you may not see the distinction, but the UEO does. Why do you think they gave me a full pardon? Because the UEO wouldn't grant Ecotopia a membership if its leader was a murderer. O'Neill, that is enough. Escorting this guy back to Ecotopia. We ought to be escorting him back to prison. Ambassador Scully is the founder of the world's first ecologically pure undersea colony, as well as the newest member state of the UEO. We have to put our personal feelings aside. 300 people died on that ocean liner. How can they pardon that? Oh, you kill one person, you're a murderer. Kill 100, you're a statesman. laser hit Afton Pellick. We've come for Max Scully. Stand down and prepare to be boarded or we'll sink you. You're letting them on board? We're within Sequest sensor range, Ambassador. Fire grapnel torpedo. Reel them in, Mr. Piccolo. Launch bay three. Have a security team meet me there. Dominique Collins, ready to ride. Clear main, go left. Dominique Collins, ready to ride. Clear main, go left. Ambassador Scully. Ensign Wallencheck will show you to your quarters. But I'd like to take the long way. It's not every day I get to ride on Sequest. By all means. Mr. Ford. Have Constable Morris escorted to my cabin. possibly allow Scully to walk free on this ship. Ambassador Scully is an official guest aboard this ship. 
You, on the other hand, tried to hijack a UEO shuttle. The only reason why I'm not charging you with piracy or kidnapping is to avoid turning this act of lunacy of yours into an international incident. I have a warrant for his arrest on murder charges. It's worthless. The UEO already pardoned him. Japan hasn't. Now, they may not have a treaty with the UEO, but they do have long memories. Scully killed 50 Japanese citizens when he sank that ocean liner. That's outside your jurisdiction as a UEO law enforcement officer. Not anymore. I quit. I won't be part of an organization that embraces a mass murderer. I'm now a consultant to the Japanese Foreign Office. You mean you're a bounty hunter? Call it what you want. At least I'm not hiding behind a uniform. I took an oath when I put on this uniform. I made a commitment to show up, no matter how difficult the job may be. Don't you dare lecture me on commitments. I'm the one you left standing at the altar twice, remember? This isn't personal. Yes, it is. The next attempt upon his safety will be met with appropriate force. Mr. Ford, Miss Morris is leaving. See that she does. These swim tubes give Darwin access to every corner of Sequest. Captain Bridger's belief that Darwin let us explore his world. <laughs> You should let us explore ours. Uh, uh. Elaine, no hard feelings. I know you were just doing your job. Fascinating, Anson Wallenshack. Pardon me. You don't like me much, do you? I don't know you, sir. Sure you do. You were on Sequest when Nathan Bridger chased me down. And for the last three weeks, you've been downloading every bite of information you could find on Akatopia. For the record, sir, I think that Akatopia could be a model for all future colonies above and below the sea. Really? But that's not an answer. No, sir, it isn't. Elaine Morse's ship is clear of launch bay. I am ready to offer my condolences at the loss of your grandson, Lieutenant James Brody. It was a privilege and an honor to have the lieutenant serve my command. End dictation. Come in. Mr. Piccolo, what can I do for you? I heard they announced the list of new lieutenant postings. How'd I do? You didn't make it. Oh. You were up against the best the Academy had to offer. You'll do better next time. Next time? Sir, I gave it everything I had. Look what you learned in the process. Obviously not enough. That's debatable. I'm going to give you a field commission as warrant officer. Warrant officer? That's correct. I'd like you to clear Lieutenant Brody's quarters. Sort through his personal effects before we send them to his family. That's all. Sir? Thank you. Nathan Bridger built a remarkable boat. Well, his dream was to create the ultimate deep submergence vehicle for ocean exploration. Saving the whales was mine. It's sad how two such peaceful dreams can bring about so much death. Captain Bridger didn't murder anyone. So you're telling me that these torpedoes haven't been fired since they were used against me? Only when it was necessary to protect lives, yes. Oh, I see. 
You know, that's exactly what I used to tell myself. Always made it easier to push the... Buttons. Ambassador, we get your point. Oh, you do? So you've looked up from your station and wondered who's on the other end of your torpedoes. Did you? I thought faking my death would help me escape my punishment. I was wrong. The UEO pardoned you. But they can't silence the 300 screams I hear every time I shut my eyes. You spent time with Ambassador Scully. What's your impression? Well, I think Ecotopia is a great influence to city building. I'm also very impressed with the recycling matrix and the plasma energy array. I meant about the Ambassador. Speak your mind, Ensign. I think that what he did was unforgivable. That's what I think. But I do feel that what he's doing right now is very noble. Noble. If you arrive at nobility by killing hundreds of people, I think if you look at him closely, you'll see him be the fanatic that he is. I think if you're saying that he cares deeply about the environment, then I'm probably a fanatic too. Really? Yes, sir. Then I think you should spend a week on Ecotopia. Take a close look. I'd be curious to hear your observations. Yes, sir. Ecotopia, completely self-sustaining and 100% ecologically friendly. It's not exactly what I expected. It's because you were born too late. This is what an agricultural community used to look like before science replaced nature. Ah, the artificial sunlight's the best I've ever seen. But the dirt farming, isn't that hopelessly inefficient in comparison to modern hydroponic techniques? Only if you're trying to feed the world. I thought that was the point. Ecotopia wasn't created to sell ecologically pure tomatoes so people on seven continents could feel morally superior when they ate their salads. I want to teach the world to feed itself. Uh, global thinking is what brought us to the brink of ecological disaster. You grow a carrot in a hydro tank in the Kalahari today, you sell it in Beijing tomorrow, nobody has to face the real cost. Production is so far removed from consumption that a child eating an apple has no idea it came from a tree. So if people eat the food that they produce, and if their homes and their clothes come from their own resources, and they'll learn the value of a healthy environment, you're only trying to reverse 800 years of history. What's taking you so long? What we're trying to prove is that man can leave his concrete jungles and return to the soil. And hopefully, by our example, the people of every nation will finally realize that their future lay not in empire, but in community. You're going to lay the blueprints. No, God will provide the blueprints. I'm just helping with the distribution. You still don't like me very much, do you? I have a hard time reconciling what I see and hear with what I know about your past. I was a good man once until the evils of this world drove me to an unspeakable act. Now, I can't change that act, but I am trying to change the world. Will that silence the screams, Ambassador? Whatever drives me. When I go to sleep at night, I know I've spent the day trying to make the world a better place. Can you say the same thing? Captain Hudson? Captain here. 
UEO remote sensors detected a radiation leak at the Freedom Point Seamount Global Nuclear Weapons Dump. Thank you, Mr. O'Neill. We will investigate. Chart a course to Freedom Point. Fascinating. I've transmitted the shipment's arrival confirmation to your dispatcher. That concludes our business. So, uh, where can a lady take a shower around here? There's a hotel down Main Street. Thanks. Slowly towards the hatch. And if I don't? Everyone else will see through you the way I do. <laughs> Constable Morse. Freedom point. For four hours, 16 minutes, sir. Captain, if we continue at this speed, we risk destabilizing the magnetic containment of our fusion core. And if we don't get there in time, Lieutenant, the world's gonna have to eat tuna with a Geiger counter. Maintain speed. If memory serves me, after the global disarmament of 2009, the UEO assured the world that a radiation leak could never happen. Freedom Point is encased in a mountain of vitrified silica and cement. The UEO guaranteed it would be absolutely safe. Just goes to prove there are no absolutes. And that you should never trust a politician. Yeah, yeah. Captain, I'm getting an incoming message from Echotopia. It's Ambassador Skelly. Put it on a security channel. I yes, sir. Sorry to trouble you, Captain, but we have a problem here. Which is, sir? Elaine Morris tried to kidnap me, again, and yet another blatant violation of my UEO protections. I have her in custody. I'm waiting for your instructions. We will be there presently. I'll go, sir. I appreciate the gesture, Commander, but Elaine Morris is my responsibility. Seemingly forever.
Officially, you leave me with no other choice. You're under arrest for attempted kidnapping. Just once, I'd like to hear your voice and not the uniform. You can come peacefully or in restraints. The choice is yours. That won't be necessary. I'm not pressing charges, Captain. I don't need any favors from a murderer. You see, Captain, this isn't about justice. This is about rejection, isn't it, Elaine? How many of your ex-lovers are you stalking? I can't possibly be the only one. You know, passion is a tricky thing, Captain. You should consider yourself lucky you were never involved with her. Wait till you see this, Lieutenant. I guess you must be surprised to hear from me after all this time. What is this? A disc I found in Brody's quarters. I thought maybe he told you something about it. When we broke up, I don't think either one of us felt like talking. And then you disappeared for ten years. What a way to end a relationship. But my mother died last month, and it got me thinking about family. This is your son, Jim. Our son. Did Brody ever tell you anything about this? This isn't a trick, Jim. I don't want money. I chose to raise our boy by myself. I just thought if you were ever in town, you could stop by and say hello. We'd like that. Brody was a father. The sheep. Know what happened to him? I'll send the disc to the UEO with the rest of his stuff. Maybe they can figure out how to find her. Why didn't we know about this? I thought I was his friend. You were. We all were. Makes you wonder how much we know about anybody, huh? radiation like about 70 percent about normal background levels can you pinpoint the source yeah but it's gonna take some time oh, i need to know now sequest has arrived at freedom point all right on time decrypting data links and synchronizing transmission codes reading data links transmission synchronized we have control of sequest very good again diverting energy and realigning the power grid Report! I'm getting enormous energy fluctuations throughout the ship. Is it the radiation? It can't be. Our hull is designed to absorb a lot more radiation than this. Then what's causing this? I don't know, Commander. I've never seen anything like this. Shut down communication. Helm full stop. I've lost helm control. We're at full stop. Warning. Life support minimal. Oxygen level. Initiating emergency override. Shifting helm control to... My console is dead. Mr. O'Neill, send an emergency distress call. Emergency you... Cancer. Communications are down. Only whiskers are responding. I'm getting reports from all decks. Every system on sequence is failing, including life support. Where the hell is all our power going? I don't know. My console is offline, too. I'm not getting any more reading. Get down to engineering. Figure out what the hell is going on. Yes, sir. Hand it over. The 
plasma pistol you always keep in the boot. As soon as we get back to Sequest, you're going right in the brick. While well, Akilah goes free. I haven't noticed you invading Macronesia. Well, maybe I'm building up to it. And maybe you've got a private agenda that's clouding your judgment. Oh, that's it! You're right! I attempted a capital crime in a fit of rage over an ex-lover. Oliver, come on. I've risked my career, my freedom, my life to bring this man down. Do you think I'd do all that for nothing? I'm listening. I was a kid. I was passionately looking for something to believe in. Scully gave that to me. When he joined the Green Brigade, I went in with him. We were going to stop a chemical plant from polluting half the eastern seaboard. Scully started making demands. He said we should target the directors of the company. Kill them. And keep killing them until we got what we wanted. I saw the look in his eyes when he talked about murder. He meant it. I packed up and I ran away. I got as far away from him as I could. He has not spent ten years underground trying to build a better garden. If Ecotopia is paradise, Scully is the serpent. Elaine, I don't know if it's any comfort to you, but my gut reaction to Scully is the same as yours. But I'm a UEO officer. Without hard evidence, there's nothing I can do. Power. I still don't know. I need answers, Lieutenant. Tell me what you know, not what you don't. The fusion engines are generating power, but for some reason, energy is being diverted from essential systems. Get life support back online. Oxygen levels are nearing critical. That is the least of our problems. These power fluctuations are destabilizing the magnetic field containment around the fusion core. We can't contain the fusion core. The sequence will blow and take half of Freedom Point with it. Bridge. What was that? Ford plasma lasers have engaged. We're firing on Freedom Point. The data from the whispers indicates that plasma lasers are 300% stronger than normal and increasing in intensity. Now we know where the power's gone. Shut them off. I can't. Status? Firing sequence initiated. Vitrification shell breached. Anticipating contact with plutonium in 43 minutes. 43 minutes, gentlemen. 43 minutes and the second Asian man begins. Maybe this time we'll get it right. The lasers are drawing all our power. They're eroding the containment field around the engine's fusion core. Is there anything we can do? The maglev system operates on an independent power grid. I'm redirecting the fusion core stabilizers through it that should provide an uninterrupted flow of energy to the containment field until the grid overloads. Good work, Anderson. You bought us some time. An hour at best. And by then we'll all be unconscious from the oxygen deprivation anyway. So what's the good news? There isn't any. Sequest is obviously under someone else's control. My guess is that we're being used to initiate a massive fission reaction within the nuclear waste. Sequest is turning Freedom Point into a gigantic nuclear bomb. Yep. A 200,000 megaton bomb that can plunge Earth into a nuclear winter in a second ice age. The air surface of the Earth will be devastated. There is one way to stop the lasers. Let's sequest blow.
Our explosion could create critical mass. I can't take that chance. You told me if I got you the data links that you could control Sequest. I thought I could. But diverting power to lasers has eroded Sequest's fusion core containment field. <laughs> Fix it. I can't. What you're telling me is that everything that we've worked a decade to achieve is going to be lost due to one man's staggering incompetence. There's one person here who can save Sequest. And he's picking oranges. Now, you shut down the data links, or do you need a control manual on how to flip a switch? I can handle it, sir. Yeah. Good. Right. Sequest, this is Captain Hudson. Respond. Sequest, respond, please. Radiation must be interfering with communication. What radiation? From Freedom Point. Sequest is there investigating a leak. Scully's behind this. Yeah, right. Along with global warming, nearsightedness, and every sock you ever lost. Now, when I was at Ecotopia, I saw some of Scully's men scanning a drill sub for radiation. A drill sub? I don't believe in coincidences. Nah, it's just a hunch. Well, think about it. What's Paradise doing with radiation? All right, so don't listen to me. Listen to yourself. What's your gut telling you? I never liked the son of a bitch. Let's go. contact Sequest since it arrived at Freedom Point Seamount. We have to assume our worst fears are true and they're facing a catastrophic situation. I might be able to take over Sequest using classified remote codes. I'm going to need your authorization. You have it, Mr. Wallencheck. Take whatever measures are necessary to prevent a fusion core failure. Out. Yes, sir. Establishing data link. Online with Sequest now. Okay, there was a sudden massive redirection of energy that fried the power conduits to the pulse generators. All systems running less than 10%, including life support. Is that enough to keep the crew alive? Barely. The energy burst crippled the containment field. It's going to collapse within 10 minutes. Is there anything you can do about it? Not alone, sir. Sequest, Lucas, respond. Lucas? Dagwood. Thank God. I am the only one awake. I know. They need more oxygen than you do. That's why you have to listen to me very carefully. Okay. Dagwood, I need you to open the guidance systems hatch of the EMP torpedoes. The OX. What do I do now? Open the round casing. Okay. D 
you see the silver sphere? Remove the silver sphere. Take it to engineering. Removing. I'm in engineering. Inside the sphere is the detonator. Okay, it's designed to release a massive electromagnetic pulse. Now we can use that to restore the containment field. Okay. I need you to remove the detonator carefully. Okay, but, but leave it on the blue rod, because if you don't, the, the torpedo's gonna blow. Mm -hmm. Bring the detonator as close to the fusion core as possible. You're gonna have to press the red button on the detonator, okay? You have five seconds to get out of there. Do you understand? Pushing! Dagwood? The pulse killed his pal. And stabilize the fusion core. I'm restoring life support and environmental systems back to normal levels. What about the dagger? Well, I've transmitted the coordinates back to the helm, initiated autopilot. Sequest should be here within a few hours. Lucas. You did a good thing today. I'm not the one that deserves the credit, sir. You saved the ship and the crew and they tried to sink you. I'm, I'm impressed, Ambassador. I am. Bring Sequest back into position. Re-engage plasma lasers. What about life support? Maintain at minimal levels. Better to be vaporized in an instant than endure suffocation. What's going on? Why couldn't you talk to me over the path? Scully. He's responsible for the radiation leak at Freedom Point. That's impossible. He just helped save Sequest from a containment field collapse. You did what? Sequest is very important to me, Captain. I didn't know plasma rifles were part of a balanced ecosystem. We live according to ecological principles, but we're not defenseless. Should have pulled the trigger when I had the chance. If you had the courage of your convictions, Elaine, you would have never left me in the first place. What, what are you going to do with Sequest? I'm going to explode the largest nuclear bomb in the world. And your Sequest is the trigger. from mankind once. I thought that somehow we finally realized we were destroying the earth. <laughs> but how can you have faith in a people who are so spiritually bankrupt they appoint a mass murderer as their savior? <laughs> Elaine, you and I did see the world the same way. I just had the courage to act on what I saw. Ambassador, do you realize what a nuclear explosion of this size will do? 
Suppose it'll rattle a few windows, disturb a few antiques, send a cloud of dirt into the air so high that the sun's rays won't be able to penetrate, thus thrusting us into a new ice age and eliminating mankind from the face of the earth. Except for a chosen few, right? When the ice recedes, the descendants of the original Ecotopians will return to the surface and repopulate. Only they will have been taught for generations to respect their planet and not to rape it. Hard to see how global genocide fits into the Ecotopian ideal. I have no doubt that my fellow colonists discover what I've done. I fully expect them to banish me from this place. So you'll die with the rest of the world. Stop this insanity, Ambassador, before Freedom Point reaches critical mass. <laughs> Don't you think that Moses knew he'd never see the promised land? Don't you think he said to himself, give it up, go party with the heathens down to the Golden Calf? <laughs> he pledged his life to a higher cause. He had to see it through. No matter what the cost. up my fix sequest commander open your eyes Tony Tony please don't leave me alone Dagwood not alone Dagwood has Darwin I'm scared. Darwin's scared too. Not so much now. Me too. Report? We're nearly at critical mass. Excellent. Prepare to seal the colony. So this is how you plan on silencing the 300 screams in your head? By drowning them out with 100 billion more. My conscience is not your concern. Maybe. But aren't we Hecatopians supposed to care about our brothers? I mean, the ones that we aren't murdering. Mankind is dying a slow death already. Strangling on pollution and poison and greed. And I'm ending the torture saving the planet before it's too late that's sweet i'm sure that's going to comfort the millions of dying children that have to scrape in the dirt for one tiny crumb of food that is enough <laughs> Shutting down plasma lasers, restoring life support now. Oh my god. What is it? We're too late. I can't reverse the damage and we're reaching critical mass. There's gotta be a way to stop it. There's never been a disaster like this before, okay? There aren't any proven methods as to how to contain a reaction this big. We'll make some new ones up. Uh, we may be able to treat it the same way the nuclear reactor does and shoot graphite into the core. It'll absorb the neutrons, cool down the system, but it's a long shot. We're gonna need a hell of a lot of graphite. Now I know why fate stuck me on the Persed mining colony for three years. I can access the travel logs to every hauler in the sea. There's a hauler on the Tillamar Ridge, bound for Shanghai with 400 tons of graphite. Yes. Tell them to hold the position. We'll rendezvous with them. Take the hauler. 
Caller 7723, this is Captain Oliver Hudson of Sequest. What can we do for you, Captain? We're commandeering your hauler under Article 16-7 of the UEO Charter. Prepare to relinquish control and evacuate into our shuttle. Understood, Captain. We'll comply. Life support systems back online. Oxygen levels restored. You okay? Captain, you are headed into a massive fission reaction. Well aware of that, Mr. Ford, you have your orders. Captain. We have no intentions of dying here. Piccolo, you heard the captain. Yes, sir. Engage the autopilot. Kind of failed. We're gonna have to steer this straight in ourselves. Sequest, be alert for our escape pod. We're cutting it very close. Fission reaction neutralizing, Commander. Detecting an escape pod at 7,000 meters and closing. Prepare grapnel torpedo. Piccolo, plot intercept course. Aye, sir. It's open. Gath says this belongs to you. Not anymore, but thank you. They're offering you a second chance. I don't want it. You're a stubborn ass, Elaine. And that's why you love me, Oliver. That's why I couldn't live with you. You do look good in a uniform. Can't imagine you in anything else. Piccolo. Warrant Officer Piccolo. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations! We should celebrate! No time. There's, there's something I have, to, I have to tell you. My father used to work in a, in a tiny donut shop in Brooklyn. So when I was little, he was in that store every morning by 3 o'clock. Tell me. But he'd always come home at 7 to wake me up, smelling of sugar and grease. Even though he left home when I was eight, I still can't pass a bakery without thinking he's right next to me. Tony, why are you telling me this? Because one day I may fly off in a specter and never come back. Brody died among strangers. I don't want to. Commander, how are we doing? We 
Radiation levels holding steady at 0.8 gray. And the containment team from the UEO is on their way to revitrify the dump. Very good. Volunteer. I'm reshielding the data links so this can't happen again. So do you still find Maximilian Scully noble? His behavior was totally unacceptable. He did some terrible things. I just hope that Ecotopia is his legacy, not his insanity. Mm. Let's hope you're right.